Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Outer Trap Reviewers. In this video, I wanted to go over a new story that was posted earlier today, uh, which is uh, pretty significant. So Apple supplier confirms new iPhone models will be waterproof with wireless charging. Now, when I first read this, I knew immediately that this was clickbait. I knew it was not true uh, because it is impossible to have a waterproof uh, phone or electronic like that. Uh, I don't even think watches are allowed to be considered waterproof uh, in the United States or marketed as such. So they have to be called water resistant. Um, so immediately when I read this, I went straight to the comments and uh, basically told the, the editor that uh, that's impossible. He needs to change his stuff. There were a lot of other people, a couple other people um, saying that as well. So he ended up putting quotes around it and uh, clarifying it a little bit more. But I still think it's clickbait and uh, not totally on board with that because a lot of people are going to read this and think that it's going to be waterproof. Like you can't have a waterproof iPhone. Like even if you put it in a life proof case, it's still not waterproof. But anyways, I digress. Um, so going through this uh, article here, uh, an iPhone assembler, Winston, which probably won't be the assembler anymore after they confirm this, uh, confirmed that at least one of Apple's next generation iPhone models will be waterproof. So could be the iPhone 8, could be the 7S, 7S Plus, could be all three of them, uh, and include wireless charging capabilities, uh, according to Japanese site Nick Asian Review. Yeah, that sounds credible. Anyways, so assembly process for previous generations iPhones has not changed much. The new features like waterproof, which no, and wireless charging now require some different testing. The waterproof function will alter the assembly process a bit. Of course, because you have to put a bunch of different uh, parts in there like rubber gaskets and stuff to keep the water out. Given the higher end iPhone 8 is expected to be a premium smartphone positioned above the 7S and Plus model, that model will likely feature wireless charging and improved water resistance as well. So pretty much all of the iPhones that are gonna be released this year will probably have the IP68 rating, which means that they will be uh, not waterproof, but water resistant, which they kind of explain here, um, and dust resistant as well. But no one really worries about dust. They mostly worry about water uh, because I have a video on my YouTube channel right now, if you guys haven't seen it, uh, explaining back in like November 2015 when I accidentally dropped my iPhone in a bucket of water while I was washing my car. That video is blowing up. I get comments every day of people asking me, how can they save their phone? Uh, you know, they dropped it in water. And I basically walked through in that video, I go through the steps that I took to save my phone. And um, so I kind of give that information out to everyone else. Um, you know, it's free information, take it or leave it. Um, so yeah, that video is big and it just shows that there's so many people every day that drop their phone in water uh, and want that extra protection. And a lot of people don't have an iPhone 7 right now. The iPhone 7 is pretty water resistant as it is. Um, so hopefully the iPhone 8 will be even better. I'm sure it will with less um, like the home button. I guess it's not really a factor on the iPhone 7 either because it's a fake home button, but I'm sure they will upgrade it. There might be less buttons. Hell, who knows? Maybe no volume buttons. Uh, they'll just be capacitive. Who knows what they're going to do, um, but it will not be waterproof. I can guarantee you 100% it will not be waterproof. This is a lie. Uh, it will be water resistant though, probably IP68, which is more uh, than the iPhone 7, which is IP67. So that's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.